More than 70% of the shoreline on Lake Washington and Lake Sammamish is covered by bulkheads. This makes it an unfriendly place for fish, birds, and other wildlife. Terry Olson Miller set back the bulkhead at her Lake Washington home because she wanted a beach. Her family likes it, and so do young salmon. It was a pretty much a straight bulkhead. Some was rock, but some was the wood, the pilings. The lake's accessible now with the beach and being able to just walk down and, and uh, swim from there and kayak from there. It's just so much easier than with the bulkhead. It's more accessible and you really um, can appreciate how beautiful the lake is, but you can also enjoy it and it's, it's just part of our day-to-day -day activities. Be it um, sitting down by the beach and looking out at the water or having friends over, kids over, and all that that means. We still have a lot of Boy Scout events out there. We, we camp a lot on the lawn, uh, kayak. Uh, we've got the little sailboat that you can see out there. So, um, yeah, we use it a lot. We've got a fire pit, so, yeah, we use, we use the beach a lot now. Terry finds her shoreline easy to maintain. Occasionally with a bad storm, you'll see a buildup of the gravel, but then over time it settles down again, and we keep the, uh, the sand, which is not natural, uh, to this area. We keep that at a high level mark, so that never gets close to the water. The install is expensive. Yeah but the permits, no. Uh, but, you know, it adds value to the property, too, so it's, uh, it's not a lost cause. No, the permits weren't expensive at all. So you just have to plan it out, but again, you're planning it out with a company that's going to execute what your plan is. So they are there helping you with all the permits. Whereas before it was something you looked at from afar and you didn't really use it, uh, now it's a part of our life. Yeah, he loves it. <laughs> Though uh, my floors don't like it when he brings in the sand, but oh well. <laughs> if that's all I have to complain about, life is good. Green shorelines benefit not only homeowners, but also birds, wildlife and fish, such as threatened Chinook salmon. Young salmon need softer, shallower shorelines and overhanging vegetation for shelter and food. There are many options for green shorelines, they all add beach area and protect property against erosion. If you'd like to explore shoreline options for your home, visit this website.